my name is Holly and I'm here to talk to you about Nakai, a white sheet gibbon we're hand raising here at Perth Zoo. Nakai is the offspring of Vianne and Philip, two white sheet gibbons here at Perth Zoo. Uh, the reason that we're hand raising him is because Vianne had difficulties with him at birth and so we're just um, taking care of him for now. So Nakai is hand raised up at the vet department um, in a warm room. He was started off in a humidity crib for the first few weeks. He's still on 10 milk feeds a day. Uh, we start at 6.15 in the morning um, and go the daycare goes through till uh, 4.45 and then he's fed at 10 p.m., 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. He's now started to have a percentage of brows. Uh, brows plants are being given to him, so they're caprosma, hibiscus, different leaves and flowers and barks for him to chew on. Um, and his teeth are growing very quickly. He's got upper and lower. He's got four lower teeth and two upper teeth. He's already starting to, to, to bite at leaves and flowers and also reaching out for them. His hand-eye coordination is getting a lot better and he's pushing himself off his teddy bear. Nakai goes outside up to five times a day to see the family group of white cheek gibbons, um, which is extremely important so that he keeps that contact, uh, visual contact with his mother and father. So the aim is to wean him off these night feeds, get him back into the exhibit with, with his family group, with his mother, father and sibling kit, and then they'll take it from there. White cheek gibbons are found in Vietnam and Laos. Their main threats are human encroachment, habitat destruction, and the illegal pet trade. Perth Zoo has been very successful in breeding white cheek gibbons. Due to their situation in the wild, the captive population may be critical to the species' survival.